<laughs> yeah, I'm joined by Jess, and we've got two fantastic sweet treats for you today out of, uh, out of her new book, My Underground Deli. And uh, two words, Rocky Road. Brilliant. Yeah. And what else are we going to cook? Um, we are going to go for a slightly healthier alternative. If you've had a bit too much chocolate over Easter, we've got my chocolate chilli Jess balls. Oh, they sound good as well, but not as good as the Rocky Road. So stick around, come back later, and we'll show you how to make these two sweet treats. Hi, Charlie, well, welcome to the cafe kitchen, and welcome, Jess. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm really excited, because we are doing two recipes, and this is your brand-new book. Oh, I love the smell of new books, but I love the smell of chocolate. Oh, even, even after <laughs> Easter, I'm ready for yep, some more treats. No, I can do it, because I've got the taste. So let's keep going. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. So we've got 100 favourite recipes from Jess's Underground Kitchen. Why do you call it the Underground Kitchen? So it all started about four years ago, and I started cooking some extra serves of my home dinners for friends. Good, good friends. Yep. Yeah, in little containers for them to pick up on their way home from work. And word kind of got out, and I started getting these strange, stranger requests for people wanting my home-cooked dinners. OK. Um, so fast forward for to, to today, we've got a deli in Hearn Bay in Auckland. Nice. and we cook a home-cooked meal every day and here are a hundred of our favorite recipes in book form right we don't have time to give you the other 98 but we're gonna give you two what are we doing so we're gonna start with a slightly healthier treat today we've got <laughs> uh, chocolate chili Jess balls nice okay so explain what's in them and what makes them good so we're sweetening them with dates um, yes. I love chilli, and so I like to put a little oh. kick of chilli in all of my recipes, even the sweet ones. You and Mark, Mark loves his <laughs> chilli too. I'm not that fond of chilli, but I'll always give it a go. We're just, we're just going to put a little bit in there, just oh, for a little bit of a kick. all the time, OK. Um, <laughs> so Mark's just chopping up the dates so they blend a bit easier, but basically we're going to throw all the ingredients in the blender, blitz mm -hmm. it up until it forms a paste, and then... Roll some balls. This is usually the. This is what happens. Mark talks about the food, and I do all the work. <laughs> so the roles have reversed today. I quite like. That. I'll just hang on to your book and look pretty, okay? <laughs> it uh, suits you. Oh, thanks, Jess. Okay, so what are we up to now? So that's what. Right, so you got cocoa powder yep. in there. Cocoa powder. Uh, we've got orange zest in there. Chili yep. flakes in there. A little bit of vanilla. As well. Okay, I'll put this a shot of something. Yeah. <laughs> shot well, of vanilla. Be, yeah. Really <laughs> nice, though. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could, you you could yeah. actually put a, bit, a little bit of uh, um, coffee. Oh, yeah, there Lovely, you go. Tasty as oh, well. That'll be good. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, and some ground almonds as well. Okay, so they got all blenders out again, and we just blend it all together. <laughs> if it works. This is, okay. Are you right there, Mark? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I promised it was easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. he's got the touch. Okay. I guess this is quite a good recipe because it seems relatively quick so far. So it just takes a while for it to come together and the dates will start to pull the mixture together mm -hmm. and clump it into what we can make balls from. Nice, fantastic. What, did, what were you like growing up? Were you cooking when you were growing up? Not really. I grew up on a farm yeah. in, in the rural Wairapa. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, so it was very much meat and three, three veg. Three veg, yeah, same, same yep. here. Yep. Mum grew all her own vegetables, shout out mum, and nice. of course dad was on the farm. Um, and it was really when I went overseas and started travelling and experiencing new cuisines and different flavours and ingredients that my passion for food really started coming together. Oh, well, I'm pleased you're sharing it with us all. Yeah, That's fantastic. Absolutely. Things have been going well, and this is looking pretty feeling? good. They're good, and then we just we can just crush them into little balls. Yep. Just roll them into like. balls. There Perfect. Go. Oh, good. Then we've actually got just some extra cocoa powder here. Oh, yum. We can do a little. I'll do a got your name like over this. it, Mike. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. Oh, you want me to work now, <laughs> do you? And then we just pop them in the fridge for 30 minutes to firm them up a little bit. I don't know if I can wait 30 minutes. <laughs> Do you have to wait 30 minutes? We'll wait well, 30 minutes. Well, you don't minutes. have to, but maybe we should try them at the end of the show, okay, shall yeah. we? OK, yeah. OK, we'll have them at the end. OK, nice, Jess. Uh, that recipe's in your book? Yes, absolutely. OK, cool. And another recipe we were talking about before, caramelised popcorn with thyme. Yes. Which sounds awesome. I don't know why we're not doing that today, actually. Oh, yeah. We'll save that for next time. OK, buy the book. Buy the book, everybody. Uh, we're going to make another recipe in just a minute, so we'll keep finishing these off, Jess. Mm -mm, <laughs> my favourite. OK, I usually buy it. I've never made it. The recipe's on screen now for those of you that are wanting to get it otherwise buy the book there's 99 other recipes that you'll die for as well yeah. it's okay. pretty easy here mark basically one day <laughs> i had some pineapple lumps yeah. and i wanted to make a rocky road with them and i thought 
what else do I have that's yellow that could go into this rocky road? And so we've got some hokey pokey. We've got some banana lollies. Remember oh, yeah, those I remember from your the classic, yes. Um, <laughs> we've got some dried pineapples, some coconuts, some classic um, crispy biscuits that we're going to crush up and put through there, and some cashew nuts. Oh, my God. It all comes together, and we call this Yellow Brick Rocky Road. Yellow Brick, Yellow Brick, what? How good are these? <laughs> like, follow the Yellow, yellow Brick, brick Road, brick, you know? Yellow Brick Rocky Road. I, I get it, yes. Like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yes, but the, the trick is to try and not eat all the fillings while you're making that, it. That would be the problem. OK, so, Mark, you're doing a great job. <laughs> um, this is going to be incredible, so it's just a matter of chopping it up into manageable rocky chunks. Yeah, and then you've got some... Uh, so yes. we just melt with some chocolate in there, yep. a little bit of butter, and some uh, condensed milk. Oh, yum. Yeah. milk. Just okay. keeps the chocolate nice and soft, so you can cut it afterwards and it doesn't shatter. Now, oh, you were just talking about your book before, while Holly was still in a bizzo. Uh, you self-published that book. What's that like? Is that I challenging? Did. So this is my second cookbook. So the first, um, my first cookbook was published through Random House, which yes. was amazing. Um, and this time round, I just decided that I kind of knew what I wanted to do and the creative direction of my book and um, had a brand and obviously had a target audience with the deli and my existing customers. So did the whole thing from start to finish. Well done. I, uh, that probably feels nicer when it's out in your hands and people are, uh, you know, Well, now that it. it's here yeah. and um, touch wood, we haven't had any disasters along the way. It's a pretty satisfying feeling. Oh, no, congrats. And uh, your deli's going well. Did I hear a rumour you could be opening another one? Well, we are. We're staying in Auckland for now. Sorry, everybody who's not in Auckland. Um, but as well as the Herne Bay Deli, we've just had consent last week to start building our Remuera store. Boom. OK. So, cool. Yeah, nice. For Aucklanders and for those that are ever in Auckland, this is a place you should go visit. and visit. Jess will look after you and her team. OK, I just turned this on so we can mount this down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we needed to do? <laughs> what's what's Mike doing? You've, you've over-melted that. Let's oh, just oh, turn okay. that off there. <laughs> <laughs> bit too keen. Don't want to ruin the rocky road. Okay. okay, we can bring it back from there. It's looking good though. So you've chopped all of it up. Yeah, yeah. So we chopped it all up. So we, so we're going to save a little bit, aren't we, for the garnish on top? Yeah, so you it's don't nice have to have to all this through it, and yeah. then a little bit on top. No, I like that. That's Just for quite a little good. bit of colour, yeah. so it looks pretty. Oh, I thought that was a little, little piggy plate for later. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's for the chef. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so we're going to. Um... <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> well, it shouldn't look like that. Well, we'll just go with it now because we, we pre-made one. But it will it's... come back. It will come back. It'll so we've got the, some coconut in there as well. It still yes. tastes really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bit of chocolate and then and the we'll pop all milk. these in here, okay. all these ingredients, and the cashew nuts as well. That's really nice. Oh, yum. Yeah. And then mix all that. And then we've just got a, a container here. Uh, so we just lined it with greaseproof paper, and then we're just going to set it. Just pop it back in the fridge to set. Yep. Maybe. And a little tip for you: if you put this in the fridge first or the freezer first, get it nice and cold, it sets faster, so you can eat it a lot faster. Ooh. This smells incredible. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, you guys can finish that up because <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> I think I'm making a mess of it. Looking forward to trying it. And congratulations on your book. Go and visit Jess's Dallies, um, the new one in Remware, opening very soon. How's the sweet treats looking? Well, it's looking great. We've chopped up the rocky road. We've got the uh, we've got Jess's balls there. It's fantastic. It's yummy as well. We've just been eating it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. I think we'll just leave it here and no, eat. bring it over. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really it really good. There you go. Oh, Get stuck in. Oh, listen, because you can't feed any of this to your dogs, can you? No, so it's just more for me. Yeah. <laughs>